Hello, this is Matthew, and this video is all about setting screen resolution on your computer. Now, Windows users actually have it a little easier. I have instructions on the website on how to do that. And it appears that most Windows uh, computers, especially laptops, are in a 16 to 9 ratio, which is what we want to draw our videos in because really that's the high resolution that will show up on YouTube or Vimeo things like 1920 by 1080 pixels is in a 16 to 9 ratio. On the Macintosh, it's a little trickier. Uh, it wasn't always true, but it's a little trickier now. So uh, one of the things that, that Macs do, it doesn't matter what kind of Mac you have, is the default resolution on a computer is in a 16 to 10 ratio. So if you record everything on your screen, uh, it's not going to fit nicely onto um, uh, YouTube or Vimeo. So you can do things that are kind of funky, like to crop it later, uh, although that's a little uh, difficult in Screencast-O-Matic. So let me just show you what I use on my Mac, because I generally like to record full screen, and I'm going to show you this bit here in System Preferences in a moment. It's a thing called Switch Res X. And um, I've set it to just certain preferences. So the, I, I'm, this is the default on my computer now. I'm going to set it to 720. So that's, that's 1280 by 720, 16 to 9 ratio. So let's switch over to that. And you can see how everything is much bigger now. So depending on what you're shooting, you might want to actually shoot like this. Now, or record like this. Now, this is what it looks like if you want to change the resolution by the Mac. And the, the, what, what happens is if I go over larger text, notice right under the screen it says looks like 1600 by 900. That's a 1610 ratio. If I go to the next one, 2048 to 1152, the default is 2560 by 1440, 2880 by 1620, and 3200 by 1800. So none of these are a 169 ratio. That's a problem. So. Um, there, therein is the, the issue. So now I'm going to go into my system preferences again. And Switch Res X is about $15. Do you need to get it? No, but some of you really may want it because it makes this, your whole life simpler depending on the kinds of things you're shooting. I often shoot in full screen, so it just makes my life simpler. And it comes with a bunch of different things, you know, for general settings, uh, display sets, uh, applications it works with, so forth and so on. So I'm not going to show you how to use it, but just that it exists. And the way it exists is a very simple little thing that's on your menu bar so you can instantly switch. So let's go into, let's do this at 1080. So now my screen is at a, a 16 to 9 ratio. There's actually a little black around part of it. And now let me go into Screencast-O-Matic and it will start up and I'm going to say I want to record and it's going to launch the recorder and it gives me some options. So notice I can do full screen and I'm going to click, which is really what I want in this case, or I could do 720, but 720 is not going to change the screen resolution. It's just going to show me part of my screen. So uh, in general, I like to shoot in full screen. If you're going to shoot in partial screen, that's a perfectly fine option. Okay, so there we go. And um, I'm going to, but you can see that the option is 720 and 480. Okay, so now let's quit that. Yes. So I, normally I wouldn't have to quit it, but since I'm screen recording another screen recorder, there's some complications involved. So I'm going to change my resolution to 720. So this is 1280 by 720. And let's bring up Screencast-O-Matic again. And now I'm going to choose Record. And now I can choose full screen, which is what I want. But notice if I choose anything else, it's 480p. I don't have all these other options. It kind of, it semi knows the size of my screen. On my laptop, it's a little frustrating because I can't do 1920 natively, um, even as an option as part of the screen, because it doesn't recognize it as being bigger than that, which in fact it is. So I don't know why that happens. So I'm going to quit Screencast-O-Matic again. And so you can see if, if we're going into, it depends on what you're shooting, of course, but I'm going to go into Microsoft Excel, which I know all of you love spreadsheets. So let's get ourselves some spreadsheet love here. 
And if you're doing spreadsheets, you know, it might behoove you to do something like shoot really big so people are close. So when you put in a formula, right, equals sum, now I'm going to get these numbers. So it shows up big. There's an advantage to sometimes doing the 720 um, screen because everything gets enlarged. Now you can shoot and you can enlarge things later which is fine if you only want to enlarge at moments in your video. But if you know you want everything enlarged, it's really nice to have that 720 setting. Now let's look at this exact same thing in 1080. There we go. You can see it's much smaller. I can make the whole thing take up the full screen, but it's just harder to see now. And if we go back to my native resolution, There we go. Well, I can have it take up the whole screen. And now it's even harder to see. So thinking about screen resolution is really useful to do before you start shooting. So think about, um, you know, what is the biggest screen resolution you want? And it's really going to be highly dependent on what you're shooting. You have some flexibility of what you're shooting is something like a narrated keynote presentation or PowerPoint presentation or Google Slides presentation because essentially those things take over the whole screen. So in those cases, you probably want to set your resolution to 1080, that is 1920 by 1080, um, because that's going to come across the best in Vimeo and YouTube. But with other things, you may want to be closer. And I, since I don't know what people are going to be creating in the class, see, isn't that much nicer in your eyes when you need to look at details? Um, that's really useful to know about. So switch res X, it's about $15 for Mac users. Um, you know, you do not need to get it, but for some of you, it may just save you a lot of time and energy. I'm really happy I bought it. But for those of you who don't have the money or don't feel like you need it, and you may be correct, um, you want to think about screen resolution and, and how to best deal with it when you're shooting your videos. I hope this helps.